Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to make the Pleasantville effect. So let's get into it. It's a pretty easy effect to do. It's a few quick things that you need to do to get it done. First thing you want to do is you want to have your clip. You want to make sure that your clip has something in it with uh, particular color that stands out by itself or just maybe two colors that stand out depending on how you want to do it. So you bring your first clip down into the timeline you can copy this clip and paste it and bring it down right underneath that clip so you want two of the same exact clip right underneath each other. So next thing you want to do on the first clip in track two you want to right click and you want to open effects editor once you get there, you want to go to Corrections, Enhance. Under Enhance, you want to go to Saturation and turn it all the way down to negative 100, which will make it black and white. And click OK. On your first clip, you want to right click on it, go to Open Effects Editor. And you want to go to Keyers. And you want to do the Chroma Keyer. Go into your settings and you want to go to a place where you can see the ball pretty well because that's what I'm making red on here. So I want to get to a position where I see the ball so this seems good right here. Now the first option you have is to click on the gear, the drop tool, and you go to the ball and you move it till you get it to a color you like. Because if you notice, you can move it around and it'll change the color a little bit. So I'm going to choose that color and you see it changed it to red. And the next thing you want to do is you want to click on invert key. Now you'll see that anything that's red is showing up red and everything else is keyed out. What you can do here is you can adjust the softness and you can adjust the spill to get it just where you want it. And you can even change the color tolerance if you want to. So these things will get it to where you like it and then you hit OK and now you'll see that it changed to black and white because the track that I have below is black and white and now in reality the track on top is just the keyed out red of the ball there's nothing else in this track now since I keyed it only thing that's going to be in this top track is red so what you'll see is the black and white and then you'll see the red over it which makes the Pleasantville effect. And as you can see, everything's black and white except the ball and the star on the shirt. And now everything is black is black and white except for the ball. It's like in the Pleasantville effect. Now, you can open the effects editor up again if you want. And what you can do is you can also key it to make it change to black and white. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to go back to Keyers and I'm going to go back to Studio and this time I'm going to click on the keyframes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the first and the last keyframe to be color and then I'm going to copy this keyframe. Right click on it, click copy keyframe. I'm going to move forward to a position where my subjects in the shot. I'm going to paste the keyframe here because I want all of this to still be in color. And then when I want the effect to start, I'll copy this keyframe again. I'll go ahead and paste it here. Paste another one near the end somewhere where I want it to stop. And 
So then I'll copy this keyframe again, which is the full color one, and I'll paste it here. So what I'm going to do between these two keyframes is make the Pleasantville effect just show up between these two keyframes. So if I step back to that keyframe and I go to settings, once again I can do my get the ball in the air and I can click on the eye drop tool pick the red of the ball invert the key make my settings how I like them And what I'll do here is I'll just delete this keyframe. I'll move this one up here. And I'll put it right on top of the other one where the other one's a little bit out there so that it changes over. And I can delete this keyframe. And I'm going to copy this keyframe and put it over here and move it right on top of this one just a little bit and now what you'll see is if you put it on media and tracks below you'll see color then you'll see the black and white and just the ball being color and the star on the shirt and it goes back to color again but that's how you can keyframe it as well so there you have it, how to make the Pleasantville effect in Avid Studio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.